I'm Julie Chin. Here are some stories making headlines on 2 News Oklahoma. A fire killed two children and an adult in Broken Arrow. The Broken Arrow Fire Department says the call came in around 4.30 Saturday morning for a home on North 29th Street near Kenosha. Battalion Chief Rusty Schaefer says when they got there, flames were shooting from the home. Relatives lived nearby. They let the fire department know that an adult and three kids were inside. Fire officials say one child was able to make it out, but they say the adult and two other children died from inhaling smoke and burns. A neighbor says he heard a loud boom and when he went outside he saw fire ripping through the home. Because it was almost something like off of a TV show like you would see off of a news something like off the news yeah. story like and it's it's happening right here in my front yard basically like right here. Grammer says he tried to help, but the flames were too strong. Broken Arrow told 2 News the child in the hospital has second and third degree burns. Investigators are still trying to determine what caused the fire, but say the home had no gas and no smoke detectors. They're now urging people to make sure they have smoke detectors and to change the batteries. They say these devices really do save lives. Now let's get a check of your forecast with Chief Meteorologist Mike Collier. Well, Julie, things are warming up in the mid 60s for today. Lower 60s tomorrow, increasing chances for showers by evening, especially southeast of Tulsa. Mid 60s Tuesday, then 70s Wednesday. Thunderstorms possible Thursday evening into early Friday morning. The weekend looks great. 60s and lower 70s with strong south winds returning by Sunday. Another fire danger threat probably in a week. We'll worry about that then, but we do have a very high fire danger for today. Mike, thank you. Stay with 2 News Oklahoma for updates throughout the day. Have a great Sunday.